All right, so now let's go through uh, step number one of the five-step prospecting system because this is, uh, this is where the rubber meets the road. This is what you got to do, and I'm going to give you action steps along the way. So uh, here we go. We're going to talk about the very first one. That is prospecting. Now, all prospecting mean, it means is who are you going to talk to? Well, uh, if you've ever been in network marketing or you know uh, MLM, whatever you want to call it, you've always been told, you know, talk to friends and family. And here's my belief on that. I say yes, okay? Now, here's the thing. This is real important that you get this, otherwise you're not going to do this, okay? Now, hear me out. If your friend knew about something that was so amazing that uh, you were going to be able to quit your job, live the life of your dreams, wouldn't you want to at least hear about it? Probably. Whether you decide to do that or not is completely up to you, okay? Now, here's what I want to tell you is uh, something that's real important, and I learned this, and it saved me Tons of grief, uh, tons of, uh, it saved me tons of grief is what I want to want to express. And that is I've learned to always be the messenger, never the message. Okay, I'm always the messenger, not the message. Now, I'm not going to go into that. I'm going to go into that a couple other steps here. But uh, it's real important that now with prospecting, this could be uh, friends and family that you talk to that you know. This could be leads that you've purchased. This could be newspapers. This could be somebody you ran into in the elevator. It does not matter. What matters is that you have a prospect list. Okay. Now, I have printed out, and you probably can't see it, but it's basically a 100-name memory jogger. Now, why I would say use a memory jogger is I've used a memory jogger for many years because you just sometimes can't remember all of the people that you uh, that you've talked to or you want to talk to before or you you know you haven't thought of in a long long time here's what you have to understand as being the messenger and not the message always let people decide if it's for them or not don't take this thing personal and I'll show you how simple how simple this is as I go through this so the, the only thing I want you to focus on right now I'm not talking in this video about how what you're gonna say how you're gonna do it that's the next couple steps but the priority, number one priority we have right now, please follow me with this, please, is to make a list of a minimum of 100 names. Another thing I want to point out, do not prejudge. This is important that you do not do that. You cannot tell the studs from the duds, the zeros from the heroes. It is impossible to dictate that. So don't you take it upon yourself to think if you believe that somebody should be successful or not, okay? All I want you to do at this point right now is print off the memory jogger sheet on this uh, on this page uh, and take the time. It take a couple minutes to do it. It shouldn't take you that long. And here's what I will tell you. Okay, here's what I will tell you. What if every I make I make you a challenge. What if I told you every single name that you put on that piece of paper, whether they joined you or not, would be worth a thousand dollars a month to you? Okay, did you hear what I said? How many names would you have? If if I told you that every single name that you had down here, what heck, what if it was just 20 bucks a month to you or $100 a month? So what if what if every name you put down on the piece of paper was worth $100 a month to you? Now, I'll explain that down the road, but that's how important it is to create a list. Now, it's just names, friends, family, associates, anybody. Use the memory jogger on there, and I'll see you on the next video, and we'll tell you what to do with those names next. Thanks.